So over here through this door, it's a tin lead alloy, which is why this is in a closed door. So after this reaction calms down, the heating is not turned up, yeah. But that's a good thing because I don't want the heat to be turned up. But once this is dissolved, the metastanic acid will then be filtered out and reacted with hydrogen chloride. So over here, I'm dissolving tin lead alloy in uh, nitric acid. And I'm not going to open this door until this reaction is done. So yeah, that metastanic acid should precipitate out and can be filterable. Anyway, looks like the acid I've extracted is pretty good. Because right now, I've shut off the heating because they're... Reaction seems to have gone crazy over there. Anyway, I don't care if I'm wasting nitric acid because it looks like I put way too much. But I can just make more. It's not that hard. That's exactly what I'm looking for. However, I barely used any acid, yet it completely dissolved, which is kind of good. So yeah, I'm just going to put this somewhere else while I already have some tins. So I'm going to work with the tin whatever mixture that I've prepared by mixing some cerium into it and dissolving it in HCl, but now we're going to do the same with this. Okay, people, it's nice to have two hands for once. So I got our Electro right. Here I got a paintbrush. Over here I got our uh, special plating solution. And I guess we're going to use the bacon. So hopefully I can get everything in the shot. So what I do first, I apologize for the bad audio quality, but uh, try talking to a respirator, nya. You can't even hear yourself properly on the video. And that's just how it works, so you just have to enjoy the show in there with me, yo. Doesn't really matter. I like using a sponge because it doesn't react with the painting solution. Using anything else has a chance of reacting with it. I learned that the hard way in the previous attempts. Anyway, after you paint it, you have to set this thing aside and far from your flame source. Because then, you're going to have to bake it. But you're going to have to bake it till it makes a silvery gray color. Like, like a matte gray color. If you bake it too hard, you're gonna end up producing a... Uh, you know the oxide that we don't want now, we want that later. So once you see like a yellowish gray, or some kind of medium gray, but don't heat it too strongly that it starts changing color, you're good. After you reach that point, you're gonna quickly, just quickly wave it around in the air like you just don't care. You know, just to cool it off. You can lower your flame source and you can do another layer of painting. That's exactly what we're going to do. You can see there's a bit of the coating there, but that's just one layer. We have to do like 20 more of this shit. So, we paint it again, as usual. You know, it looks like shit the first time. Now it's also good to mix this, so that you mix the, the fine particles as well. Then we cook it. Once we blasted it, the alcohol burns off. And we're going to get our nice color. Then we're getting our nice uh, matte gray color. Make sure that the flame is evenly spread through the surface. You can see the emission of uh, white fumes of and oxide and hydrochloric acid and shake it like you just don't care oh yeah oh yeah so you've done that you do another coat of your your lovely mixture yes you just basically a repeat of this for 20 times or so once you've done it for the 20th time you're then going to bake this until it basically the flame starts turning yellow and the metal turns red hot that's when it actually converts once you see the yellow color that's when it's ready this is cerium dope so the yellow color will tell us that you've got your cerium dioxide so again we bake this 
you can probably see that nice grayish color. Yep, get in there. Not too hard. Too hard means you fail. You don't want to fail. The handle's starting to get hot. That doesn't matter though. Yeah, we're starting to see our nice yellowy gray color. Shake it like you just don't care. And I'm gonna continue this, and I'm gonna show you what the final bake looks like. So after baking like a madman, we've achieved the desired yellow color. This is exactly what we want. So it turns out, I just wasn't baking it hard enough. You actually need that titanium dioxide to form. But then eventually the, the other oxides start to decompose and the color takes over. So yeah, we got a nice electrode that's good enough for the next step. It looks white, yellow, a little bit of blues and purples but the whites and yellows are what matter the most you can even see i even thoroughly baked the handle next step plating <music>